Press sign summary screen gives an overall view of averaged data from colour bar readings in a print job. This tutorial covers the information you might see in the colour bar area below the curves box. By default these are populated with CMYK boxes but may represent any spot colour and comprise of several boxes, one for each colour in the job. Let's use the sign as our main example. To begin with, you will see some numbers and lines within the boxes. The first number shown represents the target L value for the solid colour. This is set by the target standard. This box represents luminance values. The horizontal line represents the luminance target and the number shown is the target L value. Here we see that Cyan's target is luminance 54. To the left is a box containing a cross. The lines represent the A and B axes. Once a measurement is made, a small dot will appear. Its distance from the centre of the box where the lines intersect represents the hue variation from the solid colour. Once this first scan is made, press sign calculates the average of all the measured solid patches in the colour bar. Here we see the calculated density and the percentage adjustment to achieve the best match to the solid colour specified in the target. Next to the colour adjustment box we actually have two columns, one for wet values, the other for dry. The delta E value shows the distance away from the colour target. If you see red text the value is outside of the tolerance specified in the standard. This reading is from a wet sheet straight off of the press, not giving the ink time to dry or stabilise. Press sign can calculate for dry back in which case you will see predicted values in the dry column. The best figure shows the delta E value of the patch closest to the target colour measured so far in the job. This value will only change if a subsequent scan of the colour bar reveals a closer match. The target value shows the density which will best match the target colour based upon the readings made so far. The figures in brackets show the density range measured within the delta E tolerance specified in the standard. The colour swatch shows a representation of the measured average colour against the target colour. Target and measured lab values and a spectral diagram can be seen in the info window. Switching quickly to full screen mode, you will see the same average values to the left of the ink zone array. Making a second scan updates the values for that sheet, but in this case a closer colour patch has updated the best figure. After scanning five sheets, the best figure has again improved. The in-target density range and the target have been adjusted and recalculated. You can generate average data by highlighting the required readings and clicking calculate. This is useful for generating smooth plate curve adjustment data for export to your plate rip.